Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game here. The New York Knights today hosting the Lima Lemurs. It's a night game at Heritage Field. First Let's of a two-game set and between these two. Diamond Dynasty baseball today. It's Lima taking on New York. Lima is four and four on the year. The New York Knights are five and three. Vita Blue on the bump for New York. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Vita Blue. What do you got on him, Chris? Got a no decision in his only start he has. He has consistency. I mean, this on the season. He struck out five, so he pitched well. And goes out there to compete. But he obviously got no run got. support. Unload the tank, try to pitch deep into the ball game, and he almost always finds a way to make it very tough on opposing lineups, even when he doesn't have his best stuff, and that is the mark of a true competitor. You'll want. And a foul ball. We've got a night game tonight at beautiful Heritage Field. Oh, and two now. Looks like a packed house. Fights it off, you'll see another. Oh, sort of. <laughs> Looks like maybe 50% capacity. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him nice and determine pitch. whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Got him. That's Down big keeping strikes. Ricky off the base path. And he knew it. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Tommy Listella to the plate. Clearly. There's the strike. And a good eye there. The one one is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Now, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Mitch Hanniger stands in now and watches strike one. That comment is so... Next offering is in for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. Over so the top. Talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. He struck out the first two. Give him credit. Got him. Strikes out well, this could happen. That could happen. This could happen. Start. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Zero, zero. We could have a hurricane. We could have a tornado. We could have an earthquake. A lot of other things can happen, too. Yeah, he just goes so wild with some of the things that he says sometimes. Back here at the ballpark. Way and over on the, the top. In this one, number 54. What do we need to know here? Jose Rodriguez. Well, to see the ball and play well we know that his uh, name isn't in the, the game, defense. apparently. You've got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. Trey Turner stands in here. For their to minds to there, wander. Man, if you're on the field playing Major League Baseball and your mind wanders, then you, you don't need to be there. Turner sends it into left field. Frozen rope. Lead off single for Turner. And the Knights are in business. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. So now here's the DH, Mike Cameron.
Ball one, no strikes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The pitch. Out towards right center uh, field. A little bit late on that. Has a good on pitch. It. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting third. The second baseman. Cattell. Marte. Cattell Marte up to the plate. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And first offering is fouled off. Now the 01. Turner runs. Pitch inside. He's in there. Second and great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there. To get Seventh the steal of the year for Trey Turner. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Ground ball to the right side. That'll get Turner over to third. It's a productive out. Riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Jack Peterson. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. He went yard yesterday here in the afternoon. Yeah. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Bullpen activity starting up now. Tucker Davidson preparing to come on if needed. Long warming up as well. Left hand hitter waits. Now right out to, to second, second base. But he's got it to end the inning. Nice Stratton, after one. But come up empty. Welcome back. And now it's Joey Gallo. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell fans here. Is I want to stay Not to fans of Joey Gallo, apparently. The ball over the shortstop's head. The pitch. Aye. That one catches the zone. Strike one. And that's a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Here's the 0-2. Got him nice. looking. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Here's Mike Zanino. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Ten homers, 30 RBIs in the same month. Mike Zanino is kind of a wacky guy. Right through there for a strike. Patrick he doesn't Johnson make contact very often, Pretty but when he does, zone for Johnson. it Sometimes goes over the wall. Get a little jumpy, a little excited, and expand the zone. But usually, you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it, and that's important because you got to make guys earn it. A down on strikes he goes, and now two gone. Well, right now he's in. By the blue, struck out all Island five batters he's faced. These hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. He pitched very well in his opening start as well, but he got no run support and got a no decision. And now it's Alex Bregman. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He's hoping for a different result here this evening. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. That misses. Nope. Ball one. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. 
And a one two. Rather have a three pitch inning. Swing nice. and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. So the Knights are going to try and get Vita Blue some run support here in the bottom of the second inning. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Kyle Schwarber. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Chris, one cool nugget on Kyle Schwarber. He has homered in every type of playoff series. A wild card game, a wild card series, a division series game, a league championship series game. That was outside. And in a world series. Tried to go the opposite way. And Ricky Henderson to grab. Ends Schwarber up with just play. a lazy fly ball down. to left that Ricky Perfect. Henderson puts away. Adam, Adam Duvall at the play. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. This one in the air right field. And it's sizing it up. Late. Brings it in Lazy nice fly ball to grab. right. The complete opposite of what happened the previous batter. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Up the middle. Right up the middle. Does Rizzo have on. enough speed to beat it? He does. It. He's safe. They call that a base hit. I can see that. I can see that. That was not an error. I mean, it wasn't that close. <laughs> Why are we showing it so many times? Manager out of the dugout now. It's and not it like it was like a bang we'll bang play. Number 54 done for the night. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, Lucas Ersic. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. He has no record ERA of 117. Gary Carter <laughs> digs in now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There you go. Base hit the right field. Keeps it going. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. He was all over that one. Pitch was away. Now a base hit will bring that run in, should anyway. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. So first and second with two outs. And the batter will be the shortstop, Luis Arias. On the ground, nope. right side. Nope. They get the force. That's the third out. We'll move to the third with no score. Knights have three hits, nothing to show for it. We go to the third inning. Vita Blue has no run support. We are scoreless. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And here comes Jake Lamb. Jake well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. I think he was sitting off speed there. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Seven in a row by way of the K. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's that is pure dominance. Game in the early parts of this one, Boone. Man, if he doesn't get Only a win, that's just that's criminal. seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And it'll bring up Mike Ford. And this is probably going to be his last batter. Fastball for a strike. Going one. 
I don't think he's got enough left in him to get through the inning. And a big swing and a miss. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for That's the thing about strikeouts. Point. They take a lot of pitches. Just nope. misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's now struck out eight in a row. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. We're going to try and get him through. Yep, he's out of energy. Nope, we can't do it. And Bring in Kittredge. One game. He's into the game pitched pretty well. In. Struck out all three batters he faced. I just can't leave him in there in a scoreless game. Swung on. Popped up on the infield. Marte makes the catch. Inning over. So Vita Blue gets a no decision. Up. Struck out all eight batters he faced. And he's going to get a no decision. But I could not leave him in for that final batter. With no energy, could have given up a home run. So we're still scoreless. Heading to the bottom of the third. Knights looking to walk it off. As we go to the last of the third. And here is Trey Turner. Now this guy, a Trey's one for one tonight with a single. He has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The right-hander back to work. Out to short, Ornelas. Whips it to first on the run. Leadoff man retired here in the third. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Now, Mike Cameron. Cameron down the right field line. Right field line. And it's going to be playable. The leather on the run and catch. Two away down. The batter, number four. Second baseman. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. That one missed. In the air, pretty deep uh, out to center field. Gallo moves towards it. We Jumps have free baseball glove. here at Heritage Park. The the no fourth, score. Start of the fourth, and now Ricky Henderson. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The 1 0. Ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the play. Come on, and Andy. Count after that first at bat strikeout. It's really not worried if we walk him. Here it comes. And that's in for a strike. No need to offer he that can't pitch steal. until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage and of success. need to set up a double play. After that down and away pitch. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. <laughs> That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. 2-2 Two -two now. Smoked on the ground a second. Marte throws it's a productive the out for time. Ricky Henderson. One up, one down. Now back. Second baseman. Now the number two hitter. Tommy Lestone. We'll bring the infield in. See if they know what to do. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first. Hey and prevent that run from scoring. Well, that's the hope. Ball in one now. They don't always want to cooperate. Back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays. On the ground, right side. Good job, good Tosses job. The first two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. 
Now batting the right fielder. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Over one so far. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. In there and it's 0 and 1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Here's a 1 1. And now 1 and 2. All tied up and here in extra innings. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Knights will try to walk it off here the in the bottom the half of the fourth. Tucker Davidson. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed right, reliever from the please. pin with the lefty. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Jack Peterson's 0 for 1. Who's at second? Marte. No, I don't want to see him. Peterson stands in. He reached out a walk his first time. He did. Why is he 0 for 1? And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half-hearted swing. That one drifts inside. And now this one gets away from the catcher, yeah. Zanino. Well, that works. Probably ruled a pass ball as the runner moves up to third. Well, that right there looked like a cross-up. Not going to argue play. about that. To do with changing the signs with the runner on second. That, or he just boxed it. Either way, this guy's up to third with nobody out. Good opportunity here. And a pitch. Squirts away from He's going to try and score the winning run. Right. He's safe. Right Walk-off walk win on a pass ball. Well, Tell Marte like breaks for the plate. To win a game like Two bad this. pitches in a row. One sent him to third. One allowed him to score right. the winning run. An odd way to win a game, but no arguments are coming and from the New York Knights. Score here in this one. Andrew Kittredge gets the victory. Tucker Davidson takes the we'll loss. I don't know if they scored that a wild pitch or a passed ball. Either way, Knights get an improbable victory. Four Vita Blue, eight strikeouts, and eight batters faced, and he gets another no decision. He has pitched, pitched phenomenal this season, and he still does not have a decision. I don't know how they scored that. Doesn't really matter. The New York Knights scored one run on three hits. Lima. The Lemurs got no runs on no hits. Vita Blues, the player of the game, despite getting a no decision. Two and two-thirds innings pitched. He struck out everybody he faced. Andrew Kittredge gets the win. He pitched one in the third innings, no runs, no hits. And he struck one out. Trey Turner was one for two. Catel Marte 0 for 2 scored the winning run on what I'm going to call a passed ball. Anthony Rizzo was 1 for 1. Gary Carter was 1 for 1. So Kittredge gets the victory. He's 1 and 0 on the season. He has no ERA. So the Knights with a walk off fourth inning, four inning win over the Lima Lemurs in a night game at Heritage Park. That was cool. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.